Hey guys, welcome back to Tribe of Roblox. Today we'll talk about tips and tricks on how to beat Shinobi Life 2 with ease. Let's head into it. Number 10. What is Shinobi Life? Shinobi Life is a Japanese romantic comedy manga series written and illustrated by Shoko Konami. It was serialized in Princess Magazine from July 2006 to March 2012. The individual chapters were collected and published in 13 Taikobon volumes by Akita Shoten. The manga was licensed for an English language release by Tokyo Pop, which published 7 volumes before shutting down in 2011. Akita Shoten completed the English translation and published the entire series digitally from 2018 to 2019. It is also a famous Roblox game. Number 9. Tailed Beasts The nine tailed beasts are the bosses that spawn at specific times in different villages. They each give a different mode based on their abilities and appearances. Each tailed beast has a scroll near them and once they're defeated, the first three players to pick up the scroll are able to buy the tailed beast mode for 1 million Ryo, and the player must be a level 500 or higher. Tailed beasts all share the same HP of 4 million HP. They all despawn within 11 minutes, with the exception of Shukaku, which despawns in 10. Number 8. Hunger Hopefully you are having a wonderful day today. Shinobi Life 2 just released, and I heard if you actually like this video right now, I will get a code of my own soon. On the right side of your user GUI, there will be a ramen symbol. If it's red, it means you're hungry, and you will get lower HP regeneration. You can find ramen shops in the 5 main places. To eat, just sit down in a stool and watch as the ramen icon go smaller and smaller, and then it will turn green, which leads to higher regen. KG In the customization menu, you can roll for KGs, you will most likely get either ice, wood, and explosion. Leveling it up will give you access to its moves and modes. Here's a tip, your character level is not the same as your mastery level. You get mastery level just by leveling up or just using the KG. Farming wood is a good way to earn XP. Number 7. Combat Logs They pretty much get stuck in the convoy, so Khan's gonna get sucked right now if I use it. What the hell? Hey, has a range on yeah. it? Yeah, it does. On the left side of your user GUI, there will be a skull symbol. It will appear if any of these conditions are met. You attack somebody, you take damage, you are knocked, or you have recently died. There is no penalty for resetting while you are combat logged, but there is for leaving. It takes 2 to 10 seconds for your combat log to go away. Number 6. Scrolls Scrolls is a mechanic brought back from Naruto Beyond. They have a set spawn time, but it has a chance not to spawn. Spawn locations differ each time it spawns. You can get weapons, subjutsu, and tailed beast from scrolls. Killing bosses like Naruto, Sasuke, and Kakashi has one third chance for it to drop a companion scroll. Picking it up gives you a companion for free. Companions just attack once and go away for 30 seconds. If they are attacked while performing the jutsu, it is cancelled and the companion goes away. Number 5. Quest Quest gives large amounts of XP. There are a couple types of quests. Star quests are just doing chores in the village. Green scroll quests are going out of the village and fighting NPCs. Red scrolls mean boss missions. Levels range 300 to 700 plus. It depends on the village. Completing a boss mission means you can obtain that boss as a companion. Number 4. Training Logs Logs are found everywhere in villages and around villages as well. Just by fighting it, like how you would normally fight NPCs, gives you free XP. The more damage that you do, the more XP you get. You will get a maximum of 500 XP if your stats are high enough, roughly equaling 1k in stats. Number 3. Ranking Up Everyone starts as a F0 rank. Once you hit level 1000, you are able to rank up to rank D1, with each village having their own separate NPC for it. You will gain 20 spins and will be reset to player level 1. You will also start with 1000 stats points to use freely and each stat will have a race cap of 5200, previously being 5000. Once you do this 3 times, you will reach rank C, and so on till rank S3, where you get 40 spins start with 6000 stat points, with each cap will be 6000. Number 2. Age Everyone starts 8 years old. Aging makes you taller and generally larger. Just by leveling up, you get older. You max out at 30 years old. Once you reach the age of 18, beards will be enabled, which are purely cosmetic. Number 1. Reputation Everyone starts at 0 rep. Executing neutral rep or 0 rep or positive players, 1 plus rep will grant you negative reputation points while executing only negative players with negative 1 rep will grant you positive reputation. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.